Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy, Jay Breezy from the H. Let's get you know, back with another reaction video. I'm about to react to my boy Flight Reacts. This is off his his uh his his uh main his main channel. Uh, how how to make the best crispiest Southern fried chicken. Yeah, you know the flight is from Florida, so I watched his video last night, man. That chicken look good, man. By the thumbnail, man. You know he's from Florida, so he's making that Southern fried chicken. Yeah, it's trending number 30 right now. That's why I say I need videos that's trending. You can also get subs, too, when people start trending. When you, when you watch the stuff that's trending, that's how people can notice you and subscribe to your channel, too. I heard, that's why I heard. But anyway, y'all, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media screen. But I'm below 29 more subs. Let's wait for following the subs. Anyway, y'all, let's get into it. Crew, FTC. Right, team, stand up. Chef Rex. <laughs> All right, so I know y'all see the title, and we gonna dive straight on to it. Now, if you mess with these types of uh, cooking tutorials, my first ever one. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. His first one, y'all. Can you believe that fight's first time cooking, man? We already we already be seeing Cash Net Cash Nasty be be doing cooking shop. He be doing cooking stuff. You know, so now this is fight's cook first one, and he's one of the biggest YouTubers, and his video is trending number thirty right now. That's crazy, man. Yeah, more. You should do more, Flight. If you don't know what you're doing with this recipe, just step out of the kitchen. You know, this is exactly why if you don't know what you're doing. You clicked on this video, bro, because you won't ever have to have that moment, bro. But you can't just be doing any and everything when it comes to making fried chicken, bro. Because you can go zero to a hundred cancel real quick, bro, if you do not know what you're doing. All right, so you know, man, duck reaction. I can't believe you got that shag. I still can't believe that. Beautiful Saturday. You know what I'm saying? It's cooking time in this thing, man. So I'm gonna show y'all the quick ingredients that y'all need to make this so fresh, so clean, clean, so fried chicken. And as I go through the video, you gotta see me have uh, actually hands on. You know what I'm saying? Focus on to it, and I'll you know gradually tell y'all like you know what I'm saying the exact size and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Water. You know what I'm saying? At least half a bottle, half a cup. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you wanna call your chicken, of course. You know what I'm saying? Get some blazer bags because we're actually going to need to do this chicken before we start anything. We're going to need to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to a two hour or you can do it overnight if you're not pressing time. You know what I'm saying? You don't need your pickle juice. You know what I'm saying? You need at least a uh, half a cup of uh, pickle juice. Uh, buttermilk and here's your seasoning. So fresh, clean, clean, seasoned paprika. You know what I'm saying? This is what gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? You know, black pepper. Yeah, you know boy. Saying, the salt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, that boy from Florida, he making that southern chicken, and, bro. Uh, wash it off and then pat it down with the paper towel and everything like that. And then put everything in the bag. I'm going to put it up close to my hand so you guys see what I'm doing in just a second. All right, y'all. Now, so, like, it seems like it's just, like, you wash it off and then then it's that's in that. But I didn't want to leave out, you know, all the juicy details, man. Because what's the point of the tutorial and everything like that? So, like, this is the thing that I see growing up, you know what I'm saying, whether watching, like, my grandma or my dad cooking fried chicken and everything like that, man. So, like, if you see, like, this, like, really pale-looking part of the meat, this is, like, called the fat, you know what I'm saying? Why don't y'all add some more years onto your life, you know what I'm saying? Rip that thing off, you know what I'm saying? Now, you can actually keep this on and everything like that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not, it's actually, uh, like, really, really good, but it's also really, really unhealthy and everything. It's not gonna take away no type of flavor, but ripping off that fat, man, you just gonna, you know what I'm saying, knock off a couple of health problems in a couple of years, you feel me? Or, you know what I'm saying, you also add on a couple more years onto your life, man. So I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to do that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going, this is all trash, by the way, the fat, when I use this, it's cooking, I'm gonna throw it out, and, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's easier actually to rip the fat off and get into it once you start washing chicken out. You can add your, your water on medium hot, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. You know, now you don't want to just go all like that. You know what I'm saying? Ripping the meat out and everything like that. Pause. You feel me? You just get up under there, you know what I'm saying? Rip it right out. You know what I'm saying? This is all fat. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you can keep it on. It's optional for you. But if you choose to, you know what I'm saying, uh, stay out the doctor's office and, you know what I'm saying, have um, more years added on to your life, you feel me? This is just a little routine you can do, you know what I'm saying, to, you know what I'm saying, help you guys with that. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm doing this, bro, you know what I'm saying? Getting up under there, washing it out, make sure that they have, you know what I'm saying, the factory stuff, pesticides, you know, not not pesticide, but, uh, you know what I'm saying, like insects and all that stuff. So that man, shout out to Flight, man. Last chicken that I had just did. All right, y'all, now for the final touch before I put it in the uh, uh, Ziploc bag and everything so it can be uh, 
I, I like that Nike sweater, bro. That Nike sweater hard. Yeah, you know, moist flavor with everything. You're going to pat it down, you know what I'm saying, with this, uh, this paper towel and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, get, man, just shout out to Flight, man. Bits of water out. It's so inspirational. <laughs> Can y'all believe Curry, man? Can y'all believe Curry follow Flight? Stephen, Cur Stephen Curry follows Flight on Instagram, bro. Curry said he, he he heard about Flight. He just never talked to him. I, I have a feeling they're going to meet up one day. Just like Cash Nasty love LeBron. Cash going to meet LeBron. And can Flight going to meet Curry, man. That's going to be lit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Pat it down. All right. Now the final part. So these ingredients are all you're going to need is your water, your buttermilk, and your pickle juice. Now the pickle juice, you want a half cup at least. Took two of these, about uh, one and a half, two of these. So this is about a half a cup of pickle juice. All right, so I'm going to actually double bag this so fresh, clean, clean, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, chicken that we about to put in the refrigerator for uh, 30 minutes, or you can put it up to two hours, or you can do it overnight, if you're not, you know, pressed for time. Me, I want to say I'm pressed for time, but I don't have an overnight type of time, if it makes sense. All right, so I went ahead and double bag everything like that. Now, uh, this is the disposable foil can that came on top of the foil cover and everything like that. Um, I have no problem placing it. And everything like that. So every, if you have your own preference of dish that you use that's comfortable, you can use it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, copy the exact dish that I have and everything. This is just what I had, you know, given the time. All right. So we got a half thing of, you know what I'm saying, our so fresh or clean, clean pickle juice. Right here, you're going to go ahead and dump that. In the one cup of pickle juice, one you know cup of cup of water, half bag now, of buttermilk. Go in the same exact glacier bag. So if you mix the water with the pickle juice first or pickle juice with the water, it does not matter. You want a half cup of that so fresh, so clean, clean water. You know what I'm saying? You got to go the smart way. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go to Fiji way. You know what I'm saying? Fiji. Healthy, healthy. Is Fiji water good? And I hear people say it's good, and some people say it's nasty. All right. Now, this is the first time I'm actually using this type of buttermilk. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was looking, I was looking for the knob and everything like that. All right. So with the buttermilk, you don't need a mess necessarily. You just want to kind of get like half the bag or like, you know what I'm saying, a good amount. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, it's, it's on top. It's just like the chicken's drowning inside of the buttermilk, pretty much. Mm. Like a little itty bit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and pour my buttermilk right up in that thing. All right, this is interesting. Like halfway, like I said. Um, it's really I'm interesting, man. And, you know what I'm man. That's that southern way. I actually poured a perfect amount. Shoot, I'm, you know I'm, shoot, I'm from Houston, man. You know what I'm saying? We from the south, too. Shoot, man. and everything like that and now after you massage that chicken in there you know what i'm saying go ahead with the bag that's underneath everything um i want you to go ahead and zip it up a little bit halfway but leave some air in it because you don't like i said want to suffocate the chicken it's already you know what i'm saying passed away you know what i'm saying you don't got to keep on beating it up doing strangling it it didn't do nothing to you bro relax all right so just leave a little bit of a hole so it can breathe you know what i'm saying and then zip up the actual thing the entire way, especially when you're overnighting this and everything like that, man. Make sure the top is zipped up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't get spoiled. And the bag should look like this puffy. If I go like this, it'll explode. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. So, I'm going to leave this in the refrigerator uh, for a solid uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. Be right back. One hour later. Now, you put about uh, a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of paprika. And I want to say, like, honestly, almost... Crayola seasoning, one cup of flour, two third tabs of salt and black and pepper. Don't be afraid to go in with the seasoning right here. You know what I'm saying? And the seasonings that you want to put last is the salt. After you're gonna see me whisk it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You wash it off and get a good wash on this whole time and everything like that. Uh, you're gonna actually put your salt and pepper. Uh, man, this is interesting, man. I feel like this is his first one. It's <laughs> uh, but we got over here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the season mixed up. If your season is consistency looking like this, you see that right there? You see how it's like kind of. Dang. That's what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Now, for the little final touch, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get, you know, just a nibble of salt. You know I want to see Cash and them react to this, man. Too crazy. It's already filled with salt from the other seasons. 
Cause you know Cash, Cash is from Louisiana, so yeah, he a South, he from the South too, so I, I want to see Cash react to this, man. Wait to end of this video when he finish it, man. That chicken look good, man. That stuff look good, man. Wait till he finish with the chicken, man. That stuff, man. I bet you fly to that chicken up. I bet you when he turned the cameras off and all that, when he turned the camera, I bet you he went to eat. I bet. I know he took that chicken up. As soon as he turned that camera off, I bet you took that chicken up. Get that. Some juice and everything, bro. Oh my god, I feel like. Oh my god, man. Just looking at it making me hungry. Fish oil, high heat. All right, y'all. So the amount of vegetable oil that you put in, you want to cover about like half the pan. You know what I'm saying? Not too much where it's going to start dripping out the side, depending on how big your pan is. And the vegetable oil, you're going to have it heat up to 350 if you're going to use the temperature. But like I said in this video, you can still tell the way vegetable oil is ready to be, you know what I'm saying? Cook and do your thing when it's simmering at the top. You can just hear it. You feel me? Or you can take a thermometer be old school way. You're about to take these tons right this second, everybody. Turn on air vents, open windows to avoid setting the alarm off. Hella annoying. <laughs> I feel like on tap, bro. To that chicken up, bro.
you know what I'm saying? Take some more seeds and stuff, put it on top, give it that little final little, you know, taste to it. You know, the style with the drip with the sauce, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> drip with the sauce, man. <laughs> Cook, cook it about 18, 20 minutes, 7 minutes, first side, rest of the... not like cooking eggs, bacon, grilled cheese, none of that. This is poultry. You want to make sure you reach the temperature of 165 degrees. You're going to honestly want to flip it one to two times, but cook it to about 15 to 20 minutes. Oh. After about seven minutes, I like to kind of flip it over. You know what I'm saying? And then you can flip it back over at that last three-minute mark. Man, frightening. Oh my flight, man. Oh man. flight. You're making me hungry, bro. That means it's working its way and it's almost done. Now, like I said, if you only want to flip the chicken one time, because you're gonna end up messing with that crust. You don't wanna mess with the crust too much where it's falling over, it's looking, you know, uh loose. You want it all to be kept together, you know what I'm saying? Be gentle with it. Take your time. It's not a race. Flip it over. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, man. I put it back to around six now, you know? So I got it into a subtle, nice little cool temperature. And now I'm putting it back up to high so it can continue to sizzle and get that, you know what I'm saying, that flavor. Now we're going to go ahead with this for about another five, I say, the seven minutes. And we're going to get our thermometer in just a second. We're going to keep all of our uh, chickens that we put in here. We have two separate tongs, by the way. Hey, make sure you guys have separate utensils, tongs, whatever you're using to grab your chicken, your anything you're cooking, you know, that's raw meat. Pause. You feel me? Like, separate <laughs> utensils and tongs, and et cetera, okay? Because you do not want to get food illnesses, poisoning, you know what I'm saying, and things like that. I have two separate tongs. I had this one tongue right here that I just placed down. That I was using that I only used to put the, the, the raw meat into the pan. And then I have a clean tongue that I haven't touched and haven't used to put when the chicken is done onto the cutting board. So keep that in mind for any utensils that you use. You have to be very, very cautious with this. Um, one tongue, a clean tongue to take our chicken out. Um, yeah, it'll be cross uh, contamination, yeah. Best product of the chicken and everything. Um, we're going to take our thermometer in just a second and I'm going to show you. All right, y'all, looking at the chicken, I think it's looking just about ready. The crust is nice and flaky. Oh, my Some God, I fled it. Oh, my I God. 12 minutes I cooked because I like the crunchy as fuck, mid to high, then mid to heat. That is what you want to look for, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See how that crust stays on when I'm trying to grip it? That's Damn. Oh, my God, fly, man. Call me dark because I'm cold blooded. <laughs> oh, my right, man. It is literally right smack dead at that 165, maybe 164 mark. But you know what I'm saying? Just mind you, too, when you take it off that, um, the uh, the fryer or skillet, whatever you want to call it, the chicken's gonna be still cooking for another minute, two minutes, and everything. So, you know what I'm saying? Also, keep that in mind. And also, um, with that, uh, it just got exactly to that 165 mark. All right, y'all. Taste test reaction to build a man. We're gonna take a piece of this juicy, so fresh, so clean, clean fried chicken. I got it on my cutting board right now. Can't eat fried chicken without honey. If you don't have honey while you eat fried chicken, or at least ranch or some type of sauce, oh, fight. Too far away from you, bro. Fight. What is this, churches, man? What is this, churches? <laughs> Honey, uh, churches with the honey. Well, you eat the church, the honey with from churches, man. That mug hit, bro. Fried chicken. I got it on my cutting board right now. You can't eat fried chicken without honey. If you don't have honey, why you eat fried chicken or at least ranch or some type of sauce? Just stay far away from me, bro. You the ones, y'all. We didn't really be watching out for. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm Come saying? on, flight. I, <laughs> I do want to say something. Who, who knows? Someone might finish the last of it to his bed, Sam. And I'm a little pressed, like I said. Got to go through with that honey dip. 
Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, like. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn, I don't even know if I want to upload this video, man. Hey, but you this did, flight. <laughs> this shit right here is crap. Hold on. One more go by, bro. Oh my god, god. Flight. Come on, man. You make me hungry, bro. That spicy, not spicy, but that seasoning, that trio kick, you taste all of that into the chicken, the black pepper, the salt. Flight. I'm gonna get you, Flight. Oh my god, this chicken, man. The price literally just went up, man. How much you want for your chicken, Flight? I'll buy some. <laughs> Flight Reacts Restaurant, huh? What's it's gonna be called? Flights Restaurant? <laughs> Dut, Dut Reacts? First, well, whatever. But anyway, this was Flight How to Make the Best Crispiest Southern Fried Chicken. Shout out to Flight, man. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media description down below. 29 subs away from the phone. See you in the next one. Peace out.